Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Olga here and I'm so happy to see you again and if you are new, welcome and I hope you will enjoy this video and become a member of my little family in here. Today I decided to make a quick video on some um, autumn decor DIYs. We are going to make an autumn reef using this and maybe some pumpkins so we shall see um i am here on kneeling down on my coffee table because it's glass and i'm not going to ruin it i use um cheap tablecloth that i usually use during my diy projects and i will just bring you more up so you can see what i'm doing yeah let's get started So for this project we are going to need a hot glue gun, you can also use some super glue, just be careful with that one, and the reef base. Mine is from Hobbycraft, it was pretty inexpensive, you would have seen it in my fall decor um, haul. You can also cut the same kind of shape out of a carton box and some hessian fabric. I'm going to cut some strips that will wrap around the base or you can buy also hessian ribbon. It will do the same job as well. I'm just adding some hot glue to the first piece and I will add some more glue as I go around the base to make sure that everything stays in place. Then I went ahead and cut some of the threads that were hanging out too much and I proceeded to add all the beads and bobs that I collected for my reef. I've got here some um, dry leaves that uh, we collected from the woods, some pine cones and a few things out of the property we bought from the ranch. First arrange everything you've got on the reef to make sure you like how it looks and when you're happy with it just go ahead and secure it with hot glue. I also added some feathers that we found in the woods and I think it just gave it a little bit more dimension and I went ahead and made a little bow out of the ribbon I bought from Hobbycraft as well. And voila, our reef is ready. I attach it to the door with one of those command hooks that is easy to remove. And this was very easy, simple to make and pretty inexpensive. And yet it still looks gorgeous on the front door. Next I will be making some pumpkins using twine and will wrap it around uh, one of these empty toilet rolls and this will create our um, half a pumpkin.
repeat the same process again to create the other half of our pumpkin. And when you're ready, just glue the two pieces together and you will see that everything will look like a cute little twine pumpkin. I also added some dry leaves and here you have it. I wanted to make a mini pumpkin and in this case I wrapped the twine around my two fingers and I created two halves again and then I added a little leaf as well and you have a mini pumpkin. Here we are the day after. I am going to attempt to make one of those hula hoop briefs to add on top of my sofa and I will tell you this takes ages. It took me more than an hour to wrap the twine around the hula hoop and yeah it's not hard but it just takes so long and I try different positions different techniques to wrap it faster but yeah you just need the patience to go along another way you can do this is to just spray paint it in uh, maybe gold or white whatever color you want and it will make your life easier So fast forward to the evening, I began to arrange all the pieces I bought for the reef. Here I have uh, four cotton branches and you will see that I wanted to use the roses. You saw them in my hole and I ended up using something else just because I felt like this don't look autumn enough for me. and had the pop of color that I wanted in the living room during the fall months. You can see it took me a while to decide what flowers I want to add to the reef and um, yeah I then changed my mind you'll see later on in the video. And again, whenever you're happy with how everything looks, just go ahead and glue everything with um, hot glue. Uh, I wanted to add that the branches I attach onto the reef with twine, I just knotted it around the hoop. And this is how the first version looked like but I wanted to add more of the fall colors to the room so I went ahead and um, dismantled it and you'll see what I came up with later. I had this very bright and beautiful maple leaf garland and I wrapped it around the hoop and I thought this 
brought the outdoor colors inside in my living room. I know it may not be everyone's taste, but for a couple of months, face will brighten up the room before I will uh, DIY this hoop again and uh, make it a Christmas decoration. Uh, here we have the end result very very bright and i hope you liked this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i'll see you next time love you love you bye